Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some new bars. These are called Good B. They're Be Good to Future You with Probiotics. They are probiotic uh, bars. Uh, this is the vanilla, this is strawberry. Blueberry. These were $1.67 at Meijer. It, uh, they are granola yogurt bars. Hmm. Well, they were in the refrigerator thing. Yes, yes. Maybe well, they yogurt, I guess? Uh, I thought cheese. I know that sounds, no, it wasn't cheese. It wasn't cheese. Yeah, it was with the cheese. It was? Yeah. Okay, the sliced cheese. Yeah, yeah. Sli it was with the cheese, which is still in the refrigerator section. Okay, this. It is a weird place to put bars. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, it wasn't near the yogurt section. It says certified organic. It is 230 calories. No, I was saying maybe it's refrigerated because of the yogurt. Store in the fridge, good on the go for up to seven days, if you can wait that long. So you can uh, take it out of the fridge for seven days. Good on the go for up to seven days. Oh, I guess. Uh, visit us at goodbee.com. Our bars pair organic and delicious ingredients with the goodness of one billion CFUs of live and active probiotics why probiotics to promote a healthy immune system. Good be, be good to future you. So the way you're understanding the way it's written is because it says good on the go for up to seven days, Could but it but it still says store in the refrigerator. I don't know. So I don't think it's meaning what you think it's what, the way you're saying. So seven it. days then. Oh, this is very different looking than I've why, why put the seven days on there? Though? You have to hold that up. See what I'm saying? I think it means it's good in the refrigerator for seven days after you buy it. I don't. I don't no, know, Kevin. No, because these are good until March. Yeah. So I don't know. I bet you they're they're good for out of the refrigerator for seven days. No, they're softer than I thought they were gonna be. Mm. That's different. Mm hmm. There's a lot going on. That tastes like some Mexican candy we've tried before. That texture. All those seeds and. <laughs> you know what, though? I really like that. It has a sweet taste to it. It, um, it is a granola yogurt bar. So you get the seediness but you still get the yogurt flavor. Mm -hmm. It's like they put like a creamy layer mm -hmm. in the middle. And just from that one small bite that I took, I can understand, uh, see where this would last you a while too, mm -hmm. because it takes a while to chew it out, yeah, doesn't chewing it? For a while. It really does. That was good. So what flavor was that? That's the vanilla. vanilla. And I liked, I yeah, liked that it vanilla. Was a good vanilla it, I didn't get any of that um, typical yogurt sourness, um, sourness at all. Yeah. I really didn't. So that if, that, if that, oh, it does look different. Oh, if it that, looks like they just squared all better. If that bothers you, then the vanilla did not have that. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. This is 220 calories for the strawberry. So I bet you, the, if I'm guessing, the yogurt is where the flavor is coming from. Mm hmm. The strawberry and the vanilla. No, actually, it looks like it has little strawberries in it. See that? Mm hmm. Mm. I like that one better. Yeah, it says it has dried strawberries. Mm -hmm. You can see them in the granola. I like that strawberry flavor. That's nice. Once again, you gotta work it out. There's <laughs> no sourness at all mm -mm. from the yogurt. Um, I mean, that turns a lot of people off. Mm -hmm. You don't, uh, I don't like neither one yogurt. of us like incredibly sour uh, yogurt. Mm -hmm. The kind that we buy, we buy it on purpose because it's not sour. No. Uh, yeah, if I want sour, I'll eat sour cream. There's so <laughs> much to that, though. It, it's a lot of mm -hmm. chewing. This would really last you a long time. The granola um, tastes good. has a very seedy nut flavor. Like, um, not nut, but seedy like in a... Sunflower seeds and stuff like that. And this is um No, oh, it's got actual This is the blueberry. You can see the blueberries in there. Yeah, it says sweetened. Looks like it's got coconut in it too. Sweetened dried blueberry. Here you take it. I thought you were handing it to me. Yeah, you can get the coconut. Take a bite from the other. See if that's coconut. 
or if it's just this yogurt that's coming through. Mm. That's my favorite. Really pretty strong. Mm -hmm. I love that. It, it's a stronger flavor. Than I that love one. that. That's I like that one so too. Good. That's probably my favorite one too. Oh yeah. It is. Um, mm, these are all good um, actually. Oh yeah. I like all of them. Um, the blueberry just is so strong. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, the other flavors are here and the blueberry is like up here. Mm -hmm. and, the, and I know it probably wasn't this way, but it, the texture seemed a little different on the blueberry one too. Like it was... A little bit easier to, to bite into, and that could have just been my imagination. You've gotten used to it. Um, yeah, I could, <laughs> might have gotten used to it exactly. But once again, the yogurt you you would not know that that was a yogurt bar mm -hmm. at the all. The blueberry one, especially, is very very sweet. Mm -hmm. If you like a seedy bar with like mm. pumpkin seeds and a lot of seeds going on, uh, you you want to really chew a lot and feel like you got a lot of food then you should try these mm -hmm. um how many calories were they, they were uh, they're about two 220 each and yeah, they were only a dollar 67. i don't think that's bad uh we just, paid more for bars yes we have just know that you're gonna find them in the refrigerated section uh so if you know of any other flavors uh, that, that they have that we can be looking for, let me know because um, I would certainly, after having these, I would be willing Try to buy these again. Yeah, because yeah, these are very, very good. So I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.